On January the 14th, 2022, a large volcanic eruption happened on Hunga Tonga, an uninhabited volcanic island in the South Pacific region not far from the main island of Tonga. The eruption caused clouds of ash to be sent into the sky, eventually making landfall on the main island of Tonga Tapu, blotting out the sun and disrupting communication networks. Large quantities of electrically charged ash can cause interference to radio waves and render radio and communication systems inoperative. It appears in this case, many HF and satellite communication was disrupted. Intense lightning activity was recorded during the eruption phase. The Visalia National Lightning Detection Network detected this lightning in the form of radio waves. During the eruption, a sonic boom was also released. Incredibly, amateur radio operators at the Wellland Valley Amateur Radio Society in the UK detected this pressure wave using meteorological equipment that they had set up at their local radio club. If you'd like to learn more about that, then there is a link in the description below. The eruption was also followed by a tsunami which reached as far away as Peru with two metre high waves. The combination of events caused communication cables to break to Tonga and electricity networks were also damaged. Now there are no known permanent amateur radio operators uh, in Tonga. I spoke to Roly ZL1BQD, he activated as part of a de-expedition using the call sign A35RR. Roly said that he's involved with one of their local FM broadcast stations uh, up on the main island but he's been unable to get hold of them in any way yet. According to Rowley as well, maritime VHF communication is possible, but HF is still being disrupted uh, at this time. I also contacted Antoine 3D2AG. He's located in Suva, Fiji. It's around 750 kilometers away from Tonga. Now, Antoine says that any fixed channel HF links between islands probably are no longer in use, with VHF maritime on boats the only form of communication. Antoine also did kindly provide me with a slideshow presentation that he did for a local workshop in Fiji. This was detailing ham radio and its effectiveness during disasters such as this one. Now, of note in that pre presentation is the difficulty faced in the South Pacific, namely that the South Pacific is at the highest risk to natural disasters due to climate change, and in it is in some of the largest oceanic area to cover. Power grids and communications are very fragile networks, and they're liable to be uh, non-effective, as we've seen here in the Tonga volcano eruption case. Uh, satellite communication equipment is not readily available or affordable for most families and communities. And also of note for us, the Pacific Islands have the world's lowest number of amateur radio operators. Now Antoine does note that he runs a MCOM Pacta HF network, which can be activated with Australia during times of emergency. Uh, and he can send emails, files, weather reports and more via HF uh, as well. Now, the IARU Region 3 emergency communication frequencies for amateurs are listed here. If you're able to, please listen on these frequencies for any possible communication coming out of the area of Tonga and contact the relevant uh, authorities if contact is made with anyone in that area. And now I did have a look at on social media. Uh, the only reports that I can see about amateur radio was this tweet, which basically says some ham communications still active. Not sure what that means. Not a lot of detail. Again, we know that there aren't any permanent amateurs on the island. Whether there's other HF operators, we're not sure. Uh, but in the meantime, yeah, details are still very thin coming out of Tonga. Uh, communications are still sketchy and authorities are working to provide aid to these islands. So all we can say is that our thoughts uh, are with everyone and we hope that everyone is safe. 73 for now from Hayden, Hammer Radio DX, VK78H.